Hello, this is Uli Scholten from Sky Radar. Today I will introduce you into our eCargo solution. eCargo is used and defined by IATA in the context of uh, creating a secure and effective supply chain. This process has been structured into um, the so-called MOP steps. MOP stands for Master Operating Plan and it structures the whole process from the receiving of a booking until the delivery at the final destination into um, 19 main processes and 78 sub-processes. Let us now go one example process. In the IATA MOP approach, you have several roles. The main roles are the shipper, the freight forwarder, the ground handling agent, which is normally affiliated with an airline, the airline called carrier. Then, when arriving at destination, you again have the ground handling agent, the forwarder, the forwarder then brings the shipment to the final destination. Outside the process, but affiliated, you've got customs and potentially police and others. You'll learn about that in another video. Let's now take an example. Let's choose cargo post as one sample forwarder. You know, we invented all these forwarders like cargo post, safe shipment or world transport. They don't exist in reality, nor do ground kings, quality handling or your handling partners. So let's start with cargo post. I already invented a little deliverable and we'll put them into an airline. The flights are now visible. Let us choose the flight which is leaving in due time. For instance, this one here, the flight from Frankfurt to Athens. I book. We run now through the MOP process. Let's look at this in the process view again. Oh, it now needs to be labeled. So we've booked the flight. The shipper now has the task to label his shipment so that the forwarder can pick it up. Let's do that rapidly. I go to the shipper. You see he got an email. Video test object. We generate a label and we attach it. So we're out. Let's now go back to the cargo post. The cargo post can now um, so he's received the product. He can now generate the data. I can type it in with so created a little shortcut here so that it goes fast. And then we create a shipment record. We walk through the process here step by step. We now can create the airway bill for the shipment. Let's try this. First, let's get an airway bill number. So my invented address is already in. We can put here the declared value uh, for carriage, for customs. Uh, we can add some additional handling information. The number of pieces. All the details here, of course, in the process need to be put in. And a value, let's say $5,000 depending or you're depending on uh, the currency in your area. Let me save it now and submit it. You see we're going further and we close this form. We're now ready to send to the carrier. 
if we click on it, we also have the possibility to create a consignment security declaration or the shipper's declaration of dangerous goods. But let's not do this for now. We'll do that in a later video. We send the selected shipment. And you see it's out now, out of my domain. I see here displayed the airway bill. And as I've sent it, let's see whether it has arrived at the handling agent for KLM. Let's see what the Crown Kings got. Oh, look, here's my video test object. I can look at it and accept it. I can accept it, of course, if the customs has prior to that accepted it. Let's see whether customs has this object. We're exporting. So you see the video test object. In my specific example, I export within the Schengen area in Europe. Of course, in reality, there's no customs. But for training purposes, let's do that here. So, I look at the object, I click on it, and I see the air variable displayed here. So you see it's my video test object. In the current definition by IATA, the customs is not a writing part of the MOP process. They have the advanced uh, um, cargo information that gives them the possibility to look into the solution, but they cannot write. So uh, through other means, call or documents, they will inform the um, they will inform the, the ground handling agent that the cargo is released. So I can accept it. I can close the panel. You see it goes further in the process. I look at the process again. We're already pretty far down. You see that here, it walks through automatically. In the current configuration that I show you, we have simplified the process in that respect that you do not need to manually go through all steps. Some of them are automated, but they're here. If you as a specific customer need them with a um, user interface, we just need to activate it. We're here, collect fright, and unitize as plant. Hey, what does unitize mean? Unitize mean means that we need to create the ULD information. So let's put the shipment into a ULD. It's a video, so it's a normal aircraft container. You could use specific ones for automotive, horses, or whatever. We take a normal one and save it and submit it. So this one is not there. You can print it out and put it on your ULDs. When you're, oh, you see that? The document is here and can be seen by you and of course by the carrier. The object is in the warehouse and we can move it in the hold area. It's now in the hold area and we can move it to parking. It's now in parking and we can move it to the ship. It's now in the ship and of course now I have to wait until departure. When the aircraft departs it will continue automatically on arrival we can bring it to the destination airhouse, customs can be involved, handover given, until we get to the final destination. What you see in this solution is a fully implement, implemented IATA MOP process from the beginning to the end. We use the standardized XML data and uh, um, files so that everything is standardized. We have possibilities to play through attack scenarios to give us the possibility to have additional security, uh, aviation security issues trained. 
All that will be explained in forthcoming videos. Hope you enjoyed it and don't be afraid, it's not complex, it's just a matter of practice.